turning now to a look at the governor's race. Democratic candidate Mark Schauer released his plan for Michigan this week. He wants to put more money in K-12 education, fix roads, not with a gas tax, though, focus on job creation, and repeal the new state taxes on pension income, among other points. Now, if you're a poll watcher, though, you know this race has tightened up a little bit. The latest Epica MRA poll out two weeks ago put Snyder ahead of Schauer 46 to 43 percent. That is within the margin of error. So real quick, Nolan, talk a little bit about the plan that Mark Schauer came out with this week um, and and uh, the significance of how tight this race is. I don't think anyone predicted that poll wise it would be this tight. No. Well, a little talk is about all that plan deserves. There's nothing in it, just like his education plan. There's no details. Uh, it's a lot of populist pandering, anti-business rhetoric. There's not a single point in there that would actually create a job. And yet still, this guy's within three, four points. Steve Mitchell had a poll out last week, 43, 39. 44% of the people in the Epic MRA poll didn't even know who Shower was, and yet that poll's still within four points. I don't really get it. I mean, you have an incumbent governor in a recovery state everything suggests that should be an easy track for him and yes he yet he can't shake this guy off the tail and what that means is he's gonna to have to spend a lot more money on this race than perhaps he planned to did uh, Mark showers plan was it enough uh, it's not enough in this race and I, I, I want to plan I think it is pretty thin but it's not any thinner than what uh, Rick Snyder's plan was four years ago. There, there were lots of things that Rick Snyder refused to talk about that he would that uh, that he was going to do. How is he going to pay for things? Uh, he was promising lots of things that 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 didn't quite add up. Uh, but that was an open seat, uh, which I think you can get away with that a little easier when everybody is talking hypothetically about what they might do in the job. Now you're running against an incumbent. I think uh, you have to, if you're going to sell voters, you have to say to voters, here's what I would do differently. Here's how I would uh, specifically, how I would lead the state in a, in a different direction. And I think that plan comes up pretty short uh, in in that way uh, and still in all you know he's within three or four points okay so explain that I, so I think it's you know Rick Snyder is a weak incumbent he is not a popular governor he never has been um, uh, and some of that is about uh, you know some of the more controversial things that he's done I mean people have not forgotten those things, even though some of them are a couple of years ago, the right to work thing, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think is helping him. The pension tax, uh, which I think was probably a necessity, but an unpopular one. Uh, you know, those things are those things are going to hurt him. And then you've got the the recovery, which has been steady but slow, nowhere near the numbers that he talked about four years ago, and no no better than uh, than a lot of other states that are doing it doing things differently. So that makes him vulnerable. The problem, uh, I think, for the Democrats is that Shower has been a weak challenger. I mean, he's not uh, the kind of challenger you need. If you had a strong Democrat in that race, uh, Rick Snyder would lose. Uh, well, he'd certainly be in trouble, I think, if there were a stronger Democrat. Uh, Mark Shower is the weakest candidate Democrats have stood since Howard Wolpe in 94. I'm not sure I agree and, with that. Um, of course he is. I, and, uh, I don't think you know, that's true. But one of the things you have to look at in, in these polls, at least in the Mitchell poll last week, is the job approval rating. 56% uh, of the people in the state or the voters think that Rick Snyder's doing a good job. They approve of the yeah. job he's doing. That would normally track fairly close to, his, to what a number would be, because what you want I'll that to be for. over 50% so right now. That should give the governor some confidence, but he can't be overconfident because you've got 20% of the voters undecided. You assume they're going to break toward the job approval numbers, but you can't be sure. So yeah. it's going to be uh, interesting job approval, going very into the fall. Race. That yeah. That job approval is race. about, I, I still think the job approval is about comparison to between him and the last governor who was terribly unpopular, uh, but that's not the choice that, that, that voters are making now, and they don't like some of the things that he's done. But the, yeah. you know, the, the challenger is, is basically saying, I'm going to undo everything Snyder has done, yeah. which puts us right back in that place. I, 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 so, I, you get no argument so, from me. He's uh, got to articulate a much clearer vision. I think the agreement here, though, is this is going to be a heck of a bigger race than anyone had anticipated well, in this I think race. it will be.